Yeah. Um, they've all been winning. This last one, Bit and Kin on the bottom one, but I'm pretty sure you had them capped, like, uh, swapped from what you normally do, and he was on the left. Oh, okay. So it's not exactly a, a, a thing. So I'm watching Fubzo, right? Because Fubzo uh, sure. just got a really nice floor 1-1. Nice, yeah. Finds himself a Titanium Spear and an immediate oh, Blast really? Shrine. Wow, wow. I didn't notice the Spear. Yeah, got the... got the. I mean, Titanium Spear is great on 1-1. Mm -hmm. You don't normally see something that good in a... Uh, in just a 1-1 black chest. Um, and then, of course, finds the Glass uh, Shrine right away afterwards. Really good. All right, so let's see what happens here. Uh, place your bets. This is uh, this is very exciting. This is going to be the the winner of this is guaranteed at least twenty five dollars, um, and putting themselves mm, sure. in contention for the three hundred dollar prize um, in the tournament of uh -huh. champions, uh, which is going to be next week Friday, starting really? at seven nice. p.m. Uh, so that's really awesome. And we have dueling rings of regen, which is somewhat inconsequential. <laughs> <laughs> that Especially doesn't really for mean too much yeah yeah especially for fubzo with the glass so uh i mean it could come into play but it probably won't um especially yep. since he's probably run past his um blood shop because at uh -huh. this point maybe blood shop is the only real reason for it all right and fubs is Both one are, floor uh, ahead. yeah fubs is one floor ahead but fu fubs yeah that's right i almost said flubs and Ooh. then i oh red dragon death uh, but Fubzo is, um, now I totally forget because he died, so I think maybe it doesn't matter what I was going to say. So let's just move on. <laughs> <Sounds> <laughs> Currently good. my brain can only go, like, six hours, and then that's that's it. GG. <laughs> 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 okay, so Fubzo got a little bit map troll. Oh, no, he didn't. I got map trolled. I thought he went the wrong way, um, but he found the boss, so he is um, down to his level 2-2. Uh, two -two. And he's got a really nice build working. I got a shrine here. That's excellent. Shrine of peace. So he's gonna bomb that for sure. Get himself a ring of peace instead of that ring of regen, and that means that's way more uh, meaningful to his build right now. Skipping the bombs. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know why he did he that. Only has one left. That's very interesting. Um, but knowing Fubzo, he does not play by the rules. He does whatever <laughs> he likes. So uh, yeah, he doesn't need those he did bombs. Did a nice uh, corner dig into that potion room, just in, in the tiny chance that it's one of those enemy rooms. Yeah, that could have been bad. And wow, hello, says the Minotaur, and no problem, says uh, Fubzo, as he just plants a yeah. spear right between the eyes for the Minotaur. Wow. Yeah, Fubzo is just making work happen here. He's, he's really not having a problem at all. He's just making this look so easy. And his build is great. Uh, I mean, he's got the potion, which at least gives him the chance to recover if he does break his glass. Mm-hmm. A small chance. Yeah, and, but definitely and a chance. Moving. Bitten Kitten has a, a blood weapon here, which is interesting. Oh, wait, bounce. what's happened? It's now a radio show. Fix Fubzo's screen. Oh my goodness. Oh, goodness. Wait, Just a second. I'm an idiot, and I didn't cap Fubzo. That is embarrassing. Nice. I am so sorry, everyone. And now it's not popping out. This is great. This is really oh, great. Bubzo used the wrong hotkey or... I, I don't know. Pressed the wrong suck. button. Bubzo just opened up yep, a... Yeah, keep uh, reporting on what Bubzo's doing as I... Night. Sounds good. Add this. Uh, that's why I need to keep an eye on chat. I'm not so sorry, everybody. A, uh, what was that? Rhythm Shrine. Got a heart transplant for whatever his last boss is, probably. Um... And then got an apple and accidentally, I mean, I assume, <laughs> used the, the heart transplant instead of the apple. Okay, Just it's up. Sorry, guys, uh, about that. Um, okay, so as you can see, Fubzo has got a pretty decent build. I am so sorry. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what you guys were saying, um, but yeah, uh, that was still slack. So sorry about that, guys, but we're back up and running here. I hope everything's running smoothly. I am so sorry. That was a, a very newbie thing to do, and I deserve all of the... Um, whatever pain you guys want to drop on me there. Uh, $1 donation from Swaga saying Fubs' stream is still Slack's frozen stream. Thank you, Swaga, for actually spending a dollar to tell me that. Uh, so, oh, so, so doing, sorry. Eli. I see what you're doing. What am I doing? Oh, trying to get money from everybody? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Okay, I get one of those. I get one of those ever. Um, so that's it. So that was my one. <laughs> okay. All right, let's move past it. So, um, Bitten Kitten is, uh, Bitten Kitten's had a couple deaths, uh, this run, so, um, Fubzo is, uh, capitalizing on that, um, and moving very quickly here through the final boss. Sorry about that one there. God, I feel so bad. <laughs> uh, anyway. I mean, that's on me, too. I've got the chat open, but didn't notice. Sorry, you lad. That's okay. No sweat. We know to look out for that for next time. And a 5.30 run from Fubzo. Nicely done. Uh, really like Slack's stream. All right. <laughs> it says Jack's stream. Yeah. Funny. All right. So Fubzo pulling in a nice win. Um, and let's just keep it going because I'm too embarrassed to talk to them about what happened. <laughs> <laughs> So let me just add the score for Fubzo, and we'll keep it going. We are also running a little late here. Uh, but we have everything under control, um, so let's keep going. Just letting them know. Uh, yeah, everybody is telling me in every single way possible. <laughs> I have like five different Skypes, and the chat was just... Okay, we're back on track, guys. Everything's perfect. <laughs> so, yes. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Jack of Games in chat. What people don't know is I'm actually playing on Fubzo's account. <laughs> sure, Jack. Okay, so they're going to get going in a second. Um, Arachnus informed me that they are, in fact, going, and so I'm oh, just yep. going to start the timer. There they go. Uh, again, super duper duper shoutouts to Arachnus, Rat, and Will Arsony for being my co-creators um, and helper outerers with regards to mm -hmm. the Condor. Um, they do an amazing mm -hmm. job, um, as even when it includes yelling at me on Skype to let me know that I'm <laughs> capping the wrong screen. So um, thanks again to them so very much. They really do put in a lot of work. Uh, I have to say especially Will, because Will does a ton of work offline, um, getting all the racers organized. I'm sure, Pants, you had to deal with Will as you were getting ready for <laughs> your running in this and stuff. And he's a super nice guy, and he gets things mm -hmm. working. So uh, thanks so yeah. much to Will and, of course, Aratnus for um, being the ref all the time, except for when she needs to race. So it's been it's been really good, and of course, thanks again to you, uh, Pants, for yeah. um, coming in and, and helping thanks with the commentary. It's, it's been, been great. great. Um, cool, uh, cool, So now we are. Uh, it looks like some really interesting builds happening. Some really interesting builds. Fubzo has the torch of Amazing foresight, torch. Yeah. which is really good for running because you're going to find those bombs, which are um, great. But he did just blow up a trap door, but he's, so he's going to have to go to the secondary trap door here. But that's not a big issue. Um, he also has the shield track. spell, which is really safe. Oh, yeah, he does. Nice. Um, I always forget to use that. I have, the like, shield spell? Too, too good to use syndrome. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I've sort of come to learn that, like, if you have, if you see that you can use your fireball, use it. Like, same yeah, with freeze I'm spell. Yeah, I'm going to fireball, but uh, with shield and freeze, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, oh, well, I could use it here, or... Yeah, you think the shield and freeze are both like, well, they're going to save me in the situation where, like, I'm about to die. So. But they really aren't very good defensively. Like, well, they, you have to know to use it. That's the problem. But but in addition, like if if you if you're being swarmed, you've got what like six beats or eight beats or something. It's it's not much at all. Yeah, that's true. I mean, with the shield spell, you can sort of make with I guess with both, you can make a daring escape. Mm -hmm. sort of and and you can like it. slip past clappas. But it's if you're being swarmed, it's it can help, but it it's not as good as you might think it could be. Yeah, that's true. Which is why you should just use it whenever you think about it. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we gotta Ooh, talk nice about what just happened spell. over here. Uh, nice shield kittens, spell by Fubzo. Bitten kittens got himself a, uh, a glass rapier. Oh, nice. Yeah. Which is uh, really strong, and he's gonna be uh, moving moving very fast. So that sort of makes up for the fact that uh, Fubzo has a map and the torch of foresight. I think I think that speed is gonna help. And he just yeah. uh, yep didn't pick up that obsidian uh, torch. I don't blame him for that. That's yeah, probably agreed. a smart call. It's got a bit of a swarm here, a zone 2 swarm, which are not common. Did you see uh, Fubzo's swarm last floor? That was uh, yes. crazy. Yeah, um, that was also crazy and very and he, well handled. Uh, he got a shield spell in like one on the exact beat that he, he needed to, otherwise he would have got busted. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, really it's good impressive. reaction, according to Will. 
That's super cool. <laughs> uh, do they I have voice chat enabled? Ring of I don't Regen. Know what that means. <laughs> Not that helpful. Nope. Um, so Bitten Kitten is now taking the lead. Uh, as Fubzo's working yeah. through, uh, it looks like he took some damage there on uh, on Deep Blues. Uh, which again, Deep Blues is uh, different now, so it's a little different for people. And he doesn't get any new items. I think he might have taken a new weapon there. Uh, I don't know how comfortable he is with that um, titanium broadsword, but I mean, in the Zone Two boss, those black chests are usually pretty good. Mm -hmm. And he's just going. Oh, I mean... uh, unfortunate use of the. Uh, well, he seemed to handle it okay, Fubzo. By, by um, zone two, the uh, the uh, the chances for all the weapons are pretty much flatlined. They they don't change much after the zone two boss. Right. Yeah. So your chance of getting uh, just a, like a blood whip is the same as your chance of getting like a glass whip or a titanium, or I mean a uh, or, any obsidian weapon or anything. Well, I, I don't mean like that. Like they don't they don't equalize. But you know, in the beginning, you get really crappy stuff. But by 2-2, two, two, you're getting the same good stuff that you would in 3-3. Three, three. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Maybe not quite 2-2, two, two, but, you know, it depends on the weapon, etc. Yeah. It, it Certainly that 1-1 one, one black chest is not what you're going to be finding, all the crap exactly. in that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so Fubzo's making it work here. He's, uh, he's sort of struggling to get through everything, but he got to the boss fight first, which is... I don't know. That's going to be a big deal because... Um, Mm -hmm. Getting into this zone was actually uh, was actually here for Bitten, Bitten Kitten. Kitten. Yeah, but he got swarmed he's, pretty bad. Uh, he got through it. Nice but he's work. got a long way to travel, and now he's mm -hmm. on the boss. But it is a deep blues. He can fast fight it. Oh, oh wow, my goodness! Close. What is happening? Oh man! Oh, oh my god! Man. Holy crap! I just. I don't even know. Oh, look at those in-game timers, though. That's going to Bitten Kitten. Wow. It has to. Uh -huh. I think it's the in-game timer we have to go with there. I'm going to jump in and double check with the refs. Oh, my God. Bitten Kitten <laughs> dropped it and then came from behind. That 3-3 three, three swarm was insane. Okay, guys, let's go find out who the actual winner was. That was, that was incredible. Golf claps to everyone. Holy what? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. That was the clunchest thing I've ever seen. Oh my. Butts are seriously clutched there. Um, okay, so first off, did you guys determine who the official winner was on that one? Yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> Bitten Kitten was... set on like probably a second before Fubs did. Like, he just got done saying it, and then Fubs is like, done. Uh, <laughs> it was definitely been Kitten, so that ties it up. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, the, the in-game race timers was about a second for Bitten Kitten, um, which, of course, is what we use if it's too close to call uh, when they both say done like that. Um, I'm pretty sure anyways. So, uh, really, like, I can't say enough amazing things about that race. That race was so cool. It was so back and forth. Um... Uh, Bitten Kitten was first into, like, was behind, very behind. Fubzo was yeah. making great pace. Bitten Kitten catches right up, jumps into zone three first, and gets super trolled on the 3-3. Three, three. Bitten Kitten. Yeah, you... I went, I think 3-1, and... I went every wrong way and yeah, that I could yeah. possibly go. Right, and then in 3-3, three, three, you had that swarm, and you had to work your way yeah. through it. And if you wasted one more beat, well, I guess maybe a couple more beats, then uh, that would have been Fubzo's. Uh -huh. So, really nice, guys. We've tied it up. This is a very exciting. Great racing by the both of you. I'm very hyped for the next race. Good luck to both of you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. So, that's a bitten kitten win, as we expected, with the, the one second on Fubzo. Mm-hmm. That is crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Starts Jesus the slow clap. Hyped finals. <laughs> Yes, I love it. I am so happy right now. Um, yes, I need to drink some water. <laughs> Give us more. More. Us. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys are having fun. Yeah, so that was uh, apparently Bitten Kitten actually said done about a second before. Hmm. And they're well, off. Good thing it was definitive then instead of... Yeah, I think my Fubzo stream is a little ahead of the uh, Bitten Kitten stream for me. So that's why it looked like Fubzo. Well, they essentially tied when they they both on, oh, yeah. on my screen. Think, they jumped in at the exact same time for me. I think Fubzo was a bit ahead on my screen. Yeah. True. Yeah. I think Bitten Kitten had some buffering issues later or earlier, so maybe it's a. Uh, 
I could do it, might yeah. have just a slower internet. I'm not sure. Bitten Kitten does start with a pretty nice start. Uh, anytime yeah. you get a map on the first le uh -huh. level is uh, really good. And, you know, some armor's not so bad either, considering you're not really going to get good stuff out of those chests anyways. It's like, not bad. You don't have glass yet, and if you get a glass shrine, you've got glass armor. That's, That's true. That's very like, true. The best things you can really hope for from a, a black chest on 1-1 one -one are the leather armor and titanium dagger. Yep. Oh, a money bomb from Fubzo there. I don't know if you saw that. He just Ooh, bombed a crate and a... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's nice. super good. So he got a crate and uh, he got the ring of peace from the shrine of peace. And that gives him a uh, boost of speed plus ring of peace. And he's uh -huh. using some excellent boots of speed strats, getting those double hits in just to go a little bit faster. Now, does he use boots of speed on... on uh... Yeah, Fubzo's got some strats here. Fubzo's been practicing. Uh, he's got all the deep blue strats, it seems. He handled that very nicely. Now he's cleaning things up with the boots of speed. And we have a uh, dueling uh, deep blue. Chess, yep. Although, and uh, picked up a great weapon here that yeah. let him... He opened a couple barrels on the way after getting this, which is uh -oh. so useful. <laughs> Unfortunately, he didn't get any food from it. Uh-oh. Are you seeing this? Uh, nope. He just picked up a new weapon, and it's a glass the cat. Glass cat? Oh, glass cat not, that's boots of speed. Uh -oh, that's awesome. Oh, I know. Uh oh, as in uh oh, look out! This is going to oh, be gotcha. insane. Gotcha. He just yeah. got himself <laughs> boots of speed and the ring of peace. Like and he's got. Cat. This has got Yolo written all over it, and I know that's that's <laughs> Fub's middle name. Fub's Yolo Franker Z, I think, is his <laughs> actual full name. So, <laughs> and here he goes. I I mean, this is going to oh, be. Wow. This is a great race again because we got mapping on the other side. We got a really powerful weapon. Keep in mind that the flail, the obsidian flail, can kill a lot of enemies at once. So the DPS is really high because you're doing a ton of damage to eight squares around you. Uh huh. So or seven, seven, seven uh, squares five? around you. We're talking about the flail. Oh, it's does it not? Five. Oh yeah, it doesn't hit those corners. I'm, of course. <laughs> well, that's what we've got me here for. Anyways, yes, still, five times three damage is a lot of damage, uh, and and he's uh, in coming into zone three, but Fubzo's already into zone three. He switched his glass cat for a titanium uh, spear, which I think nice. is a good choice. Yeah, especially with those boots of speed. Yeah, so that you can kind of rush a little faster, mm -hmm. um, because if you've got uh, boots of speed, you're going to want to have the range so that you run into stuff and hit them as opposed to uh, getting hurt by running into stuff. Yeah, it's generally good to hit things instead of being hit by things. Generally, yep. That's usually the game plan uh, with this game. Um, and he also did get hit by some hot mm -hmm. coals there, uh, but he's handling it okay. He's got to be careful. He almost boots a speeded right into that clapper. And he jumps down. That's a dangerous jump. I don't know if I would have done that. Um, handles it just fine. Although he's getting a bit well, swarmed They're here. so close, though. He, they're on the same floor. Oh, my goodness. They are. They're both on 3-3. What is this friggin' race? I don't think this this is the hype can't even be contained, and oh, <laughs> he just point. ran. He just ran for it. Like Fubzo just went as fast <laughs> as possible. He didn't know what was there. There could have been a clappa just waiting to just smoke him in the face, and now he's got to do slow strats on Conga. So this is bad for Fubzo. Um, he's going really slow strats here. Gets the Looks tempo like up trap. But this is. Conga. Oh no! And the Hellhound. Gets Fubzo. Oh, dang. Fubzo. Wow. wow. I mean, that... GG. I am, I'm physically feeling that. I, I hurt <laughs> physically from that. That was amazing. That whole run. Fubzo was getting work done. And GG. Bitten Kitten takes it. Oh. Wow. I don't even know what to say after that. <laughs> Oh, that's so rough. I'll be right back. People call me Bitten, Kitten, what? BK, whatever. <laughs> What's up, Bitten, Kitten, and Fubs? Oh my hey. god, I don't even know what to say about that race. You guys both were on Conga at the same time. Ah, And then Fubs got a bit off script there. You didn't have a bomb. And that, and that was it. I mean... At that point, you usually expect to have a bomb, so it's it's hard to know how to how to go on script with that that race or sorry with that fight. Um, what were you thinking there when you were 
Um, did you feel as though those uh, goblins were getting a little too close for comfort? Um, I've hardly practiced conga without a bomb, to be honest. Oh, okay. Um, because I, no I feel like you could have actually um, not moved from the original line position and killed because that that uh, you oh, ended up moving I, up. I, and I think yeah. you could have attacked the gray goblin down and then yeah. moved left, right, left, right, and been okay. But I, I mean, it's it, so hard yeah. to know. I was worried the gray goblin would come from the left. And that's why. And oh, because then... they do that. They'll change sides on you right away. I know exactly All what you're right. talking about. Well, anyways, um, guys, you are putting on a show, and everyone is losing their minds, and it's super awesome, so at least for that, win or lose, you guys are doing really awesome. Thank you so much, and good luck on the next race. Uh, I wish luck to the both of you. All right. All right. Uh, so this is Bitten Kitten for the win. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, Fubzo's... I mean, Fubzo's got the skills. He can he can put down a, a super fast run. That was a four and a half minute run, by the wow. way. I am yelling so hard right now. <laughs> I am feeling it in my throat. <laughs> uh, it's it's two zero right now, right? It is two one. Two one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and they're off. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, my brain can't handle it. Um, instead of asking, is saying ready in the chat for Skype, I said going. Which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and then Arachnus just said Eli's yes. Eli's falling apart. I am, I'm losing it, guys. I can't handle it. Oh, Fubzo's taking it. Yep, yep. Fubzo's That's taking it. the Ring of War. That is a YOLO strat for sure. Exactly. Some, some runners will not take the Ring of War. Uh, because it does increase the swarming, especially in zone three. But taking it early isn't a bad strat. You can mm -hmm. face plant into uh, got an early two damage. Uh huh. Yeah, that's early so two damage. You'll go fast, uh, and you can always replace it later as long as you get a nice it's weapon. Pretty hard to get rid of rings. It's, it's true. Like definitely more than a weapon. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's true. And so we'll see. Um, but yeah, easily just. Demolishing that bat, uh, just because he's got the knockback, he could mm -hmm. confidently walk up to it and just bash it with his spear. Ooh, Ben King gets hit going down a trap door. Ouch! Um, see if that, that. Oh, that's enough to open the open the door for her Fubzo and that enemy train that he just totally demolished, <laughs> taking some damage from that ghost though. Uh, they're both oh, going God. full. They're going for it. Crazy here. A nice couple double bomb strats there. I, that's a wise choice. You don't want to poke um, Deep Blues too much when you have the knockback. Well, I it think can the really knockback turn. got changed recently, which is an excellent reason to not do it. But I think he would just get knocked back once. Uh, you're right. Yes, that is the case. But, but even fact. still, I find you get off um, get off script a little bit with that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and maybe that's the case. I'm not sure. But yeah, Bitten Kittens now got uh, got to catch up. Now, uh, it's not to say that Fubzo's build is not extremely dangerous currently. Uh, I mean, he's got the Ring of War, and he's only got one heart, and he doesn't have a very good weapon. So, and he just got super trolled by that layout. So I think he's going to go for that trapdoor. That's Ooh, probably should, a wise choice. He should hit that oh, crate in first. Trolled by the crate? Yeah, I wonder if he's going to go do it. Oh, uh, and that... <laughs> bomb strats. No, he doesn't go... Wait, what's he doing? Okay, he's going into the so shop. Gas? Oh. I guess he's got he's got time, so he goes ah, in the gotcha, shop, yeah. gets himself some armor. That's probably a good idea. Nice. Now he better hit that crate in there, and he doesn't. Ooh, Bitten King goes down. Bitten King goes down. What happened there? Uh, I'm not sure. Ah. Uh, Just some sort of zone one swarm. It looked like. Crap. I don't know. Trying to All go right. too fast through a room Bitten with two Bitten King's got to watch the pressure. I mean, maybe Bitten. Oh, King's... he's got a glass shrine though. With the That's glass nice. Torch, which I think he likes the glass torch. I Does think. he? Okay. Or I mean, yeah, he was the one who took the the circlet in zone three that I gave oh, my seal. Oh yeah, to. fair enough. So that's he'll be he'll be enjoying that. That's good. Yeah, I mean it's good early. It's similar to the Ring of War in that uh, it's good early. <clears throat> it's just zone three where the real issue is for both of those items. Why is Fubzo not going into the? Okay, he's going to the food shop. Playing that's safe. oh, that's a smart nice. idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll agree with that move. Um, it's just weird seeing him just run by the staircase because it's Fubzo. <laughs> yeah. And bathe in fire over on Bitten Kitten's side. 
Ouch. Bittenkin's having a hard time getting things uh, strung together here. Maybe feeling the heat from uh, Fubzo, Ooh. who's having a very strong run. Dueling Ring of War. Yep, picks up another Ring of War. And my music just stopped again. Let's get that going again. All right. And a deep blues kill over on uh, Fubzo's side. He's going into zone three, looking to tie this one up at two. How hype would that be? That'd Skips be on the glass glass cat wise choice. Glass cat ring of war zone three. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> well, it's five damage. Oh, but yeah, with the cat, it, the, with the, the spear's cat. better. The spear's yeah. better. It's safer. He needs safe strats right now. The range is what you need for yeah. the clappos. He didn't get a bad uh, layout there. That was a fun sort of playing with the the bounce tra or the shove monsters there. <laughs> yeah. Ping pong. Making sure. Yeah. Now, when you hit the bat, does it stun it if you have the Ring of War? I forget. I feel like I'm it not, does. I haven't tested this, but it seems to me that the Ring of War, when you when you hit something, it pauses where it is in its beat cycle. Okay. It doesn't restart the beat cycle? I don't think so, no. Okay. I think it just pauses it. And like, so for one beat, it's, it's definitely fine. But the next one... It's going to be moving again, probably. Well, depending on, I guess, what when you hit it. Yeah, yeah. Cycle. So Fubzo so I, I, sees I know it's... a ring of luck and then just totally skips by it. How do you feel <laughs> about that decision? Um, I mean, a one damage spear, I don't know. Depends on if he's watching the bit and kitten or not. Well, it's certainly helping him out here. This was a, it was definitely a good plan because of that exact enemy train that he just punished. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was very impressive work by Fubzo. And he's going super fast here. Maybe if he picked it up now, I mean... Uh, thinking about it, he definitely shouldn't get rid of the ring until the end of the level. Oh, you know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's no reason to. But it does waste time going to get it. And a I mean, big kitten's on to zone two and I has a I, really strong build. I think I agree, though, that just more enemies, but having two damage is, is a lot better. Like, the difference between one and two damage is, is just too much. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. I agree with that. Uh, big kitten is Ooh. certainly not going slow here. Yeah, that was some... Slipping right through there. Yeah, with the uh, five damage, that's... Oh, yep. So that's a two shot yeah. on that red dragon. But five damage with that rapier. Really nice. Uh, don't the go too YOLO here. Back, so nice. It, yeah, as long it, as you remember it. I, I keep forgetting. Oh, it, that's a confused barrel. What? Did you see that? It's happening right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he hit it, and then it came towards him. That was the most amazing oh, wow. thing I've ever seen. And they damage you, too. Did it damage him? Uh, no, but they do. Oh, if, if it bounces if it back at you? Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. All right, but zone three for Bitten Kitten. Oh, no, that's right. That was only, yeah, gotcha. And Yeah, Fubzo's no, Bitten Kitten's three, behind three. here. Fubzo's got to finish this. Fubzo's on 3-3, three, three, but a... Where's he going? Oh, there is a trap door. Playing safe? Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, now, does he have the... Oh, he killed the boss. Okay, so he's on to the Conga boss. Uh, now, Conga did kill him last run. So, mm -hmm. um, and he has no bombs, and he has no bombs. So here he goes. It's the exact same thing, actually. I mean, I did just tell him the strat, which he is now doing. So <laughs> feel a little weird about that, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I just told him that. I mean, what were the chances of him having and, the exact same situation again? And telling is nowhere near as good as actually practicing it. So that's I true. That's true. And guys, we are going <laughs> to. Uh, Game five. I feel like we've had game wow. five. All right, before we do this. Oh, nice. Bitkin had an excellent read on that those yetis, and he saved some time by sliding into the second one. That's so awesome. Yeah, that's good. When you know what beat they're on, and you can actually use the, the slide. All right, I'm going to check the Condor sheet here real quick and just see how many game fives we've gotten to in the past. Like, um, I have, like, a, I have like it, all our past races. So, uh, just to recap, guys, because the winner of this is going to be the last champion in the Tournament of Champions. In our first week, we had a Game 5 where it was Rat versus Jack, and they were both incredibly fast races where Game 5 actually ended up being the longest at 7.05 with Rat winning. Uh, in the second week, hey, hey, it don't was... Hey, uh, don't forget about me and Will Arsene. That was an incredible race, it's true. We were, we were finals, on the fifth race also. But you were on the fifth race, that's true. And uh, it was a 521 by Will uh, by Will there to take you down, uh, which is a really <laughs> fast run. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so then the the second week, it was a three to one for Shakes over Tonkatsu. Um, all very fast rate. The first race was a 12 minute, and oh, then the rest after that were right fast. Now. Gotcha. Uh, and then yeah, just looking at finals, and then it was a 3 0 for DJ last week uh, with uh, Squaga. So, but DJ is very strong. Uh, I think DJ 3 0'd all of his races. Yeah, he went 9 0 last week. So uh, DJ is in full form, as they say. And now we're looking at um, the race times for this are incredible. First race was Fubzo at 5:35, uh, and then the second race was five minutes for Bitten Kitten. And then uh, race three was 4.33 for Bit Kitten, and then a 7.26 just happened for Fubzo. So guys, this is it. We're down to it. This is going to be amazing. Sorry, Squaga. <laughs> and let's do this. I'm letting them know we are ready. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot that I didn't tell them that I wasn't going to come in there to interview, but I felt like it was unnecessary. Um, okay, so here we go, guys. This is it. I am so super hyped. Thanks, two, everybody, two. for wow. everything, uh, for all the the hosting and and just I I don't know for being here. This is good. This is this is exciting. This is for this is money is on the line here. It's uh, for the tournament of champions. Uh, I wouldn't say all of this to them, but the stress should be real. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens. And here they go. Um, and Bitten Kitten froze for a second there. I'm, I'm, I think that was just a couple dropped frames. So I'm not sure if Bitten Kitten's stream is going to be a little behind now. It looked to me like he actually just didn't move. That's weird. Maybe, maybe he thought he had gone. He too might early. have had to mute his uh, Skype or something like that, and decided True. not to do it during <laughs> uh, deep, or uh, King Konga fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's generally a good strategy. <laughs> oh, uh, I feel bad for Slack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, a ring of peace, fine. That's so good. I mean, you think at this level, if you can try and put your head in the mindset of the uh, racers here, um, everything you find here matters so much, and finding mm -hmm. a ring of peace is such a huge find. And he took a hit right beforehand, too, which is probably nerves. Yeah, I like mean... he got hit by a, a blue slime. Did he? Oh, blue slime is the worst to get hit by. I feel... I always feel a little stupid when that happens. Yeah. And a Not nice spear. Well. Spear is nice, safe. And Fubzo's got the uh... potion. Uh oh, was oh. that just that was just instant troll bat? I hate when that happens. When the bat just beelines for you. Uh, he yeah, saw that wow, ring of peace and wow. just said, "You know what? Nope, get done. Nope." <laughs> and Fubzo doesn't have any bombs because he bombed in for that potion. Um, and he is getting epically trolled by this layout. Uh -huh. Are you seeing this? Yeah. That's oh true. man, it looks like our <laughs> yeah. Jesus does not want this to end too easily. This is this is interesting. And Fubzo YOLOs that uh, trap door. And he has death metal. Honestly, I don't know how he plays without the without anything. He doesn't play with anything oh, yeah. on the UI. Like, I play those... with the beat bars to know what boss I'm up against. Exactly. For that very and, reason. And for death metal, I, I less so now, but especially when I started, I found myself going way too fast. Like, I think it was faster than oh, it was. Oh, you'd expect have, it, yeah. And I'd have to look at the beat bar and, like, make sure I'm doing it right before, so I don't miss beats. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I use the beat bar a lot. Um, I would take the blood rapier here. I don't know why he took the gold. That just doesn't really even make any yeah. sense. What? <laughs> I mean, it's just, like, objectively. Maybe he doesn't want to feel like he should get to infinite damage and have <laughs> that pressure. That's the only reason I would ever... Yeah think that or maybe he just wants some more gold i mean that's, i guess he doesn't have a ton of gold that's and true. maybe he wants gold but i There's honestly think shot. we're just stretching it right now i think i honestly knowing fubzo he probably just didn't even worry about it he's just like i don't know whatever <laughs> yeah agreed and the great the great chase down of the minotaur i love those ah oh, come on fubzo. and he gets the one Where's shot on, on oh fubzo. i guess he got the rapier so never mind that's excellent yeah <laughs> yeah he didn't even pick up that gold so and another uh, ring of uh, of peace. Oh wait, he doesn't have. Uh -oh. Old faithful. Old faithful on uh, bl uh, on Bittenkin's Bitten. side. That's nice. Yep. Um, we'll see what happens here. This is this doing? is an interesting two, sort two, of part. Two. Uh, really? Oh, Fubzo Wait. did find a bomb, which is really useful. So he found the bomb. He kept the uh, the trap intact, which is good. Those trap doors, for some reason, you can you can bomb them closed. Doesn't really mm. make a lot of sense, but. And even though he saved it, the mole dug it up. <laughs> Ouch. Nice. That's 
sucks. And look at this run. It's it's all tied up 2-2. Guys, it's 2-2. They're on 2-2, the both of them. 2-2, 2-2. Two, 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 two. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This is awesome. This is so close. Yeah, I can't even deal with this hype right now. This is cool. But well, Binkin died, didn't he? And Fubzo hasn't died. I'm pretty sure, I, but I can't know for certain because I don't have Fubzo's... Uh... I, I think so. Yeah, true. Yeah, no, Fubzo did start with the, the gold rapier. I think Fubzo's he's just been playing a slow because he's got a base rapier, I guess. That, and he got wicked trolled by that... Uh, <laughs> That's true. That, that one level where it was just... Yeah, the layout was just unbelievably bad. Uh-huh. And I think he did spend a little bit of time to get that ring of peace. True. It's a good thing he didn't try and kill King Konga there with the... He's ahead now. Yeah, he is ahead, um, and he got a better weapon. I would argue that is a better weapon, especially if you feel like doing trap doors, um, which um, maybe not in zone three. Yeah. And he found glass, so he's gonna go glass whip. I would, especially with the ring of peace. Yeah. You're gonna just yeah, put I, in all the hurt. A it lot definitely less, takes. Uh, it definitely takes practice, but I I agree. Uh, it looks like he's not whip. though, and he would really? be able to get that barrel. But uh -huh. at this point, barrels are sort of the least of your worries. <laughs> Uh, okay, so he, I mean, he's got the the easy boss fights here, so we'll I see wonder, what happens. And that was a Barrett long battle by uh, Bitten Kitten. He didn't do the fast bomb strats. That's very strange. That's true. Yeah. Go very for a torch. strange. Go for a torch. No. Ah, oh, really? Weird. Is he gonna take it? He's gonna take it. Wow. Okay. This is uh, this is some very unexpected play by Bitten Kitten here. I'm not sure because I feel like he's been playing mostly the way I expect him to. A really fast Minotaur find there. That was really good, but unfortunately, he's got the slip and slide situation. He better, he would bomb, slip. Oh, wow, what an effective slip and slide. That nice. was awesome. Did you see that? That was so yeah. nice. I don't know if that was planned, but it was wonderful. And they're on the same floor again, although uh, Fubzo is down, on his way down to the stairs. I can't believe oh. how close this race is. This is so got incredible. Trolled by the whip. Trolled by the whip on the hot coals. Uh oh, and Fubzo took some damage and drank his potion. This is this uh, this music is too slow for this. I need to turn up the music. I know you can't hear it, but the no, there it is. Oh, this is so close. There's his boss. Okay, Fubzo found his, his trapdoor. Kitten's uh, right behind him. Although Kitten's a whole floor behind. So this is this has got Fubzo's name written on it here. If he can handle the new, oh man, if he somehow gets trolled by the new, uh, no, he's he's easily handling with whip strats. He is doing a very good job of cleaning up deep blues. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like our champion for this week. Don't want to call wow. it right away. But yeah, he killed the king. Is Fubzo. Wow. And if I'm not mistaken, and I'm going to just double check that. Did Fubzo come back from a 2-0? No. 